was that? Huh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for that assessment, stranger. Um, I'm excited to be here, guys. Uh, it's just fun to be in Atlanta in general. This festival's been great. Met a lot of people from all over the country, um, from actual cities. I'm from Stone Mountain. <laughs> yes. Is anybody else from Stone Mountain? Yeah, good fucking answer. Uh, it's a shithole, and I'm the only one of these. A lesbian, that's what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like I grew up in Stone Mountain. This isn't even a joke. It's just how it was. Like I, I grew up in an all-black neighborhood. Um, it was just me every day, just insecure white guy surrounded by 100 black guys like I was a fucking college football coach. Um, <laughs> it was tough. It was tough. Uh, I don't know. But no, I, I, I grew up there. Um, I just turned 30, so that's why I'm kind of dead behind the eyes. Um, <laughs> Thank you for that as well. Same guy with the assessment. Um, no, so I miss things from when I was younger. Like, I miss stuff like uh, like the skating rink. Like, do you guys remember how much fun the skating rink was? Four of you, cool. What the fuck did you guys do with your childhood? <laughs> uh, do you guys remember how fucking dangerous the skating rink was? How did this even become a thing? Like, parents, listen, we found an old abandoned asbestos-filled warehouse. It's got a giant slippery wooden oval. So you should bring your kids on down. Let them skate around a circle for an hour and a half. It's cheaper than a babysitter. Um, do not get them rollerblades or inlines or anything cool like that. Take them to the fucking skate shop. Get them rentals, which is basically just a floppy old Timberland with no ankle support. Uh, and just four rickety wheels we found on a fucking mop bucket out back when we opened the place. Um, safety? Yeah, safety. You don't need a helmet. We've lined the walls with the thinnest fucking carpet you'll ever find. <laughs> ever. Ever. Um, and for your own convenience and entertainment, we're going to play crisscross jump jump every 25 seconds. <laughs> so no kid leaves without a broken ankle and an airhead from the snack bar. Come on down. <laughs> Come on down to Sparkles. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I have like three more minutes. I'm going to do that joke two and a half more times. Strap in. <laughs> um, no, I, okay. Uh, um, no, I am getting older. Uh, so to deal with it, I've been drinking a lot. Um, thank you. We have a problem. Um, but no, to the point, like, literally, like, where I thought it was a problem, and then I saw some news stories made me feel a lot better about myself. There were some kids in Gwinnett recently got arrested for drinking at school. They were doing it by pouring vodka into their eyeballs. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, that's like POW shit. Like, <laughs> I, I thought I had a problem, but if you're fucking waterboarding yourself with Mr. Boston's at 17, that's a fucking issue. <laughs> that needs to be addressed. And then I saw this whole thing a few years ago. This happened at the University of Tennessee, these four fraternity brothers. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> butt chugging. That's a real fucking thing, guys. It's not a mad lib of words I just jammed together. Butt chugging. Four fraternity bros, they got in trouble for giving each other alcohol enemas with Franzia. <laughs> not the worst part. Not the worst part. The worst part was there were four of them which means three of them could have vetoed the idea. They're like, no, 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 let's hear him out. Chandler, Chandler, you were saying? We also man, Saturday night, we've already got on our best Columbia fishing shirts um, <laughs> and our mid-calf socks. Let's show off the athletes that we aren't. So let's get ready to go out. What do you guys want to do? Um, I don't know. What if we do like a flip cup? No. What if we do, um, I don't know, beer pong? That's fucking stupid. Why don't we do a power hour in our buttholes? Because when they got in trouble, the only excuse they gave was, well, we wanted to get drunk faster. What kind of time constraints could you have been on <laughs> where that was a reasonable answer? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Seamless transition. I've been dating a lot because I'm recently single. Um, by the way, guys, how thin are condoms going to get before we just all join hands across America? <laughs> oh, <laughs> ultra thin, super thin, bare skin. At what point is Trojan just going to drop like a fishnet stocking and a fucking plain B pill in a box and be like, good luck, dude. I don't know. I mean... Fingers crossed, I guess. I don't, I mean, and dating's tough enough. Like, that's why I don't understand why literally anyone could be opposed to gay marriage at all. At all. Like, you know, that, that whole thing with, like, Duck Dynasty and, like, Chick-fil-A a few years ago. Like, I'm not going to get into the whole thing with Chick-fil-A. I'm not going to take a side. I just think I speak for everyone, for everyone, when I say, when I'm hungover on a Sunday, I would suck dick for a chicken biscuit. <laughs> <sighs> I should totally leave now, um, <laughs> but I'm going to press my luck. Uh, it's the last night of the festival. I've had an awesome time. It's been so much fun. Um, 
I will say uh, I'm tired of not being famous. Um, so over it. So over it. You don't just wake up every morning looking like Rachel Maddow and not be famous. <laughs> and I'm just like, I, I bartend and I do this. And so I just, you know, like my career is just underachieving, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I feel like I'm starting to like idolize the wrong people for it. Like, like I'm like looking up to the wrong people, like, like the Kardashians. I fucking hate them. They are garbage bag people, just garbage bag human beings. But I'm like, oh man, like they're famous because one of their daughters, Kim, had a sex tape of her getting butt fucked by a C-list rapper from 2006. Like, if someone was like, hey, Chris, <laughs> you don't have to make another pomegranate mojito ever again, but you gotta get butt fucked by a C-list rapper from 2006. Guys, at that point, it's just determination and pain threshold. I'm in, like I am in. <laughs> like, you know what, fuck it, I'll get tag teamed by the Yin Yang Twins right now, <laughs> right now. And don't you sit there and judge me either, Patrick, because like, if somebody was like, hey, listen, you don't have to wake up tomorrow and fucking cold call your family friends about some kind of bullshit at Northwest Mutual if you let Bubba Sparks call you his Miss New Booty. You would do the same fucking thing, and you know you would. Thank you so much, guys. Y'all have a great night. <laughs>